I'm pretty sure. While Kevin was here visiting from Ireland this summer, we thought we'd see if we could tackle replacing the blown fork seal on my Africa Twin. Since this is the bike he rides when we get together here in the U.S. for our motorcycle trips. Neither of us have ever replaced a fork seal before, so we were stepping into uncharted territory, but we still thought this was something we could figure out. The first step was to remove the front wheel. Hey Terry, <laughs> so you're going to tell people how you managed, you managed to bust four fork seals on two motorcycles pretty much at the same time. Yeah, so why are you bringing that up now? So folks might want to know if, uh, if the fork seals were banjacks beforehand. Or did you do something stupid? Again. I wonder what gave him the impression that I've ever done anything stupid. My jacket on eh? under here my jacket it's in the closet in the room ah no way I looked at that up and there it was sitting right there <laughs> where's it now <laughs> it's in there it was just Son. it was there it was right there i never put it there well that's where it was and it was facing that way so when you opened it you sort of but it was right there and when i looked in i was like I had to stand there for about a minute. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to ride all the way back five miles per hour thinking it fell off. Okay, point made. I'll quickly tell you how I blew the fork seals. Last July, my buddy Eric from the Netherlands and I decided to trailer both my V-Strom and the Africa Twin from Denver up to Dawson City, Yukon Territory, where we would unload the bikes and then ride them up the Dempster Highway to Tuktoyaktuk on the Arctic Ocean. On the last day of trailering the bikes from Whitehorse to Dawson City, we hit some incredibly nasty frost heaves. A couple of times, the trailer with the bikes on it was literally flying in the air and then slamming back down on the pavement. The short story is, when Eric and I unloaded the bikes in Dawson City to begin the Dempster ride, we had blown fork seals on both bikes, and both of them leaking oil badly. And if you want the long story, click the link in the Dempster Dalton third attempt video at the end of this video. So does that pretty much answer your question? So you actually did do something stupid again. I guess that all depends on who you talk to. I've had people tell me that it's impossible to blow a fork seal by compressing the forks too much. Then I've had many, many people tell me stories of how they've strapped their bikes down only to end up with a blown fork seal. In my case, I've experienced that twice now, and both at the same time. Now back to how we repaired the fork seal on my Africa Twin. The process is not overly complicated, but there are several steps involved and a few replacement parts are required that aren't overly expensive. There are a few things you have to be very precise about, too. You're not telling them the way we really figured out how to do this. Come on. Yeah, Terry, be truthful. Tell them where you really learned how to change your fork seals on the Honda Africa Twin. Okay. You guys win. After a lot of research and watching many YouTube videos on the subject, both Kevin and I found that Stevie from Soggy Boss Moto YouTube channel had the best video on how to replace the fork seals on an Africa Twin. Hi folks, Stevie here. That's my YouTube channel. 
he clearly shows what parts are needed, what tools you need, and step by step the process of dismantling the fork, replacing the seal, refilling with the correct amount of fork oil, and reassembling the fork. You don't need to worry about damaging the old seal, but the tape helps. Kevin and I watched Stevie's video as we went through the process on my Africa Twin. We'd pause the video, complete the next step on my bike, then watch the next part of Stevie's video, then duplicated what he did again on my bike, and so on. Everything went well just as Stevie says in his video. Of course, Kevin and I had to go out and put the new fork seals to the test. There were no leaks and the new seals functioned perfectly. That's what I'm talking about. Well, Terry, at least your conscience is clear. You'll be able to sleep at night. If you want to learn how to replace the fork seals on your Africa Twin, you won't find out by watching this video. Shoot over to Soggy Boss Moto and watch Stevie's video, CRF 1000 Fork Seals. Link in the description below and on the end screen of this video. So I've got a question. How did you guys get into this video in the first place?